In this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step on how to download ticker data, how to get started and how to maximize your ticker data experience. Again, this will be a step by step tutorial. So let's go ahead and dig in. Now, to start off, I'm currently on tickerdata.com. There's a link to it in the description if you're looking for this website. But you can see here, I'm not signed in. I don't have a profile. So what do I need to do? Well, there's two different things. You can see there's a get started button here and a get started button here. Each of them pretty much do the same thing. So if I don't have an account, I'm going to come up here and click on get started. And when I click on this, and it's going to give us the option to sign in with Google. So I'm going to click right here and you can just plug in your Google account right here and your account's going to be created. If you have a Gmail account, I'd advise you use that. Now keep in mind, the email that you plug in right here will be the email you need to use Google Sheets from so that ticker data can verify that you are a user. But once I've done that, you can see it now is verifying that I have created a ticker data account. So I am signed in. So now if I come up here and click on pricing, we can see we have two different options to get started with ticker data. We have a basic plan and a premium plan. If you want access to any of the ticker data spreadsheets that you may have seen on different places on the internet, you want to get premium. Premium will give you access to all the different spreadsheets. You can see with the basic plan, you're going to get access to 30 plus years of historical financial data, live price data, access to over 70,000 stocks, 70 plus stock exchanges available, financial statements and key metrics, and a community of investors. With the premium plan, you get all those things, but you also get pre-built stock analysis templates and pre-built portfolio tracking templates. So if you want the spreadsheets, then you want the premium plan. Now keep in mind, you can save quite a bit of money by paying yearly. You can save up to 17%. So if you toggle this on and pay yearly, again, save 17%. But once we do that, I'll click right here. And then basically you'll go through the payment process and you'll be a premium member of ticker data. Now keep in mind, once you've created your account, you can always manage your subscriptions or upgrade your subscription by coming up here and clicking on account. And once you've done that, you can check your subscription status here. We can see my subscription is active. We can see the plan I'm on. I'm currently on premium and we can see this is renewing on a monthly basis. And if I scroll down, we can see I can also modify my subscription. So for example, let's say I chose the basic plan. I can upgrade to the premium plan right here. Or maybe I chose the monthly payment plan and I want to switch to yearly so that I can save money. I can click upgrade here, come here, and you can see I can select premium for the year and make that easy change. If you need to update your billing information or look at your payment history, you can come over here and click on billing and see all this information. And then of course, you can check out your profile by clicking on profile. Now keep in mind, if you ever have any questions or problems, you can also click on reach out and send us a message and we'll get back to you as fast as you can. Now we also have a docs page and once you've done all of this, it's going to give you in-depth details on how to do things like get started, on how to do things like install ticker data, how to use ticker data, and of course, it's going to tell us the different ticker data attributes of which there are hundreds and also the ticker data live attributes. And keep in mind, we also have an exchanges page. If you're wondering if ticker data supports an exchange you're currently looking for, come over to this exchanges page and you'll see we have exchanges from all across the world. We have things like cryptocurrencies, European markets, Argentina. You can pretty much see the entire list here and it goes on for a very long time because keep in mind we support over 70,000 different stocks but now it's time for the actual fun part using ticker data so let's go ahead and migrate over to a spreadsheet so since we decided to become ticker data premium members maybe you want to check out some of the premium sheets so we can come up here and click on premium sheets and you can see there's an entire library of ready to go spreadsheets that you can start using immediately as a ticker data member so for example maybe we want to use a dividend breakdown sheet maybe we're a dividend investor we'll click on this sheet here and you can see here, it's going to give us some instructions. When we click go to sheet, it's going to take us to our spreadsheet. But once we do that, you can see we need to make a copy. So let's go ahead and go to our sheet. And you can see here, it loaded in pretty quick. We already have our spreadsheet ready to go. Now, as of right now, we can't edit this spreadsheet. So what we need to do is come up here and click on file and click on make a copy click on make a copy. Now right now you're going to see the spreadsheet is showing not available for all this information. That's because we haven't downloaded the ticker data add-on yet. If we come up here to extensions you can see I have it because I have already downloaded it but if you haven't downloaded it you can go to add-ons right here and click on get add-ons and if we type in ticker data right here if you click here you'll be able to download the ticker data add-on into your spreadsheet. Once you've done that, if we come back to extensions, you'll see ticker data listed right here. Now, the first thing we need to do is log in. Now, keep in mind, we need to make sure we're signed into the same Google account that we made on our tickerdata.com. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, when you're downloading ticker data, if you get an error that says bad request error 400, there's a simple fix for this. That error is likely due to the fact that you were logged into more than one account in Google profiles. Fix this and the problem will resolve itself. But once we come over here, let's click on login to ticker data. And you can see it's working right now. 
And once we've done that, you can see we're gonna have this little pop-up show up telling us that we've signed in and you can either refresh and return to sheet or just return to sheet. We wanna go ahead and refresh our spreadsheet. So we're gonna click here and you can see it's loading in. And now you can see all this data is going to automatically load in. So you can see with ticker data very quickly, we can pull in very important key metrics that we wanna see. And we can pretty much build a dashboard to our lightning. For example, I don't know any software that shows free cash flow versus dividends being paid out. But because ticker data allows me to pretty much build my own dashboards, this is something I was able to immediately build out and it gives me great insight into the safety of the dividends versus the free cash flow being paid out. Let's go ahead and test it out again. This time let's look at Pepsi. I'll plug in PEP -E and hit enter. And again, you can see this data will automatically load in. Now keep in mind, when using ticker data, you will occasionally need to log back in or refresh your spreadsheet. Also, if you ever have any problems, keep in mind, if you go over to Docs, scroll down, you can look at troubleshooting, and it's gonna give you some steps to fix any problems that you have. But also keep in mind, if you're struggling and you just can't figure it out, click on Reach Out and send us a message and I am happy to help you out. So now we've talked about how to use the pre-built sheets, but now let's talk about the actual ticker data functions. And this is where things get pretty powerful. On a very basic level, there are currently two different ticker ticker data functions. We have ticker data and ticker data live. Now, if we jump over to tickerdata.com and go to docs, we can see the difference in these two different functions. You can see here the ticker data attributes and the ticker data live attributes. And we can also click on use ticker data and it's gonna give us an idea of how to use it. So for example, to use the ticker data function, we're gonna list the stock, list the metric that we wanna see, and then list off the year that we want to see it for. So let's go ahead and test that out. We'll come over here and use that ticker data function. Let's go ahead and say we wanna look at Apple. I'll plug in AAPL, close the quotations, add a comma. Let's say I wanna look at their revenue. I'll type in revenue right here. And let's say I wanna know what their revenue was all the way back in maybe 2008. So we'll go quite a bit back. I'll close off this parenthesis. So again, you can see ticker data function. We have the stock, we have the metric, and then we have 2008 listed. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And you can see this number is going to automatically load in. We have Apple's revenue all the way back in 2008. And of course we can format this in Google Sheets. If we come over here, click on the dollar sign, spread this out just a little bit. We can see revenue in 2008 was sitting, it looks like at about 32.5 billion, pretty close to that. Now keep in mind, we can automate this process quite a bit more within our spreadsheet if we're making a pre-built template. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and come over here, plug in stock ticker AAPL. We'll do the same thing, type revenue right here, and then we'll come over here and plug in 2020. So let's go ahead and use our ticker data function again. Come up here, click on Apple, comma, click on revenue, comma, and then click on 2020. So this time we just selected metrics that are already in our spreadsheet. I'll click enter, and again, you can see this information is going to automatically load in. So now you can see it becomes pretty easy to start automating the process. So because we selected cells that already have tickers in it, we can easily adjust exactly what we wanna see. So for example, maybe we don't wanna see Apple's revenue in 2020 anymore. Maybe we wanna see Coca-Cola. All I would need to do is change this from AAPL to KO and hit enter. And you can see this is going to start to load in once again. We're gonna see Coca-Cola's revenue in 2020 and it came in at about 33 billion. Maybe I wanna see something other than revenue. Maybe I wanna look at Coca-Cola's total debt. I can plug that in right here and hit enter. And again, this will automatically load in. So you can see automation with ticker data becomes pretty easy. Now you may be wondering, well, how do I know what metrics to look at? What metrics can I use? Well, again, this is all listed out on the ticker data website. If we go back to ticker data and click on docs, what we can do is look at all the ticker data attributes that are currently available. We have a lot of attributes from the income statement, from the statement of cash flows, from the balance sheet, and then of course we have a lot of key metrics. A lot of these are metrics that are personally very important to me. And we can see when you add all these up, we have hundreds of different metrics that we can use. So for example, maybe we wanna look at the current ratio. We can see that listed right here. Let's jump back over to our spreadsheet and look at Coca-Cola's current ratio in 2020. I'll hit enter and you can see again, this will start to load in and it's currently showing a dollar. That's because of the Google Sheets. Let's change it to percentage and it's showing 131.77 or if we just wanna see it as a normal number automatic, we can see that current ratio sitting at 1.31. Again, we have hundreds of different metrics available on tickerdata.com and you just wanna type them out the way that they are listed here. So now let's talk about the ticker data live metric. This is a metric for when we're looking at live data. So for example, maybe we wanna look at the live stock price for a company you can see right here. Let's talk about how to do that. We'll come down here and use that ticker data live function right here. What we can do is we'll type out KO and in a comma and then just price. So because this is live data, we don't have to insert a year. We just need these two metrics here and I'll hit enter. And again, you can see this is going to automatically load in. 
we have Coca-Cola's live stock price sitting at $63.92.5. So ticker data live is for live data. Let's try something else. Maybe we want to look at something like the dividend yield for this company. I can change this from price and type out dividend yield and hit enter. And again, you're going to see this is able to automatically load in. If we change it to percentage, the starting dividend yield for Coca-Cola sitting at 3.04%. So again, there's lots of different metrics here on the ticker data live function. Now let's go ahead and delete all this and talk about international stocks for a moment. Again, ticker data has the ability to track hundreds, thousands of different international stocks. And that's something we saw on our exchanges page. So let's go ahead and pick a random country to pull in stock information from. If we scroll down, let's say that we want to look at a stock from maybe France. We're going to look at the Paris Stock Exchange, the Euronext Paris Stock Exchange. That market is PAR. And maybe the stock we want to look at is going to be MC. So for reference, we use the same ticker system as Yahoo Finance. And if we jump over and look at MCPA, we can see this is Louis Vuitton. This is a ticker traded on the France Paris Stock Exchange, and it's currently trading at $715.50 per share. And we want to pull this stock straight into our spreadsheet. Again, with ticker data, this is possible. We'll do equals ticker data live. We want to pull in the live stock price for this company. And like we saw, the ticker is MC, but the .pa represents the stock exchange that it trades on. So if we go over to ticker data live, we can see the extension for this company .pa. So ticker is MC, extension is .pa for the exchange that it trades on. So how we plug this in would be MC.pa. So if we come over here, we'll do MC.pa, close the quotations, and we want to look at the live stock price for this company, and I'll hit enter. And again, you can see this will automatically load in and it does match what Yahoo Finance is showing us. Let's go ahead and do another example. Maybe I keep scrolling down. Maybe there's a stock from India, the National Stock Exchange of India that I'm gonna pull in. The exchange is NSE and we can see the extension to pull in stocks from this exchange is gonna be .ns. So any stock you wanna plug in from the Indian National Stock Exchange, you're gonna do .ns at the end of the ticker. So for example, we can see a ticker example right here. We're gonna pull in the company Reliance. That's the ticker and the exchange it trades on is .ns. So let's go ahead and test this out. We're going to come up here and change this to Reliance .ns and hit enter. We're going to see if we can get the livestock price from this company on the Indian Stock Exchange and it looks like we were able to do that. So again, international stock tracking becomes very easy with ticker data. Something else that ticker data can do is live crypto tracking. And I know this is something a lot of people are excited about because crypto tracking in the past has been pretty difficult in Google Sheets and pretty much not possible. But again, if we jump over to the exchanges page, we can see right here, cryptocurrencies are listed out. So let's talk about how to do this with ticker data. We're gonna be using the ticker data live function to pull in the live price of Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and do in quotations, BTC, and then we wanna list off the currency that we wanna see this in. So I want to see it in US dollars. So I have BTC for Bitcoin and then USD is what I want to see. So I'll close this off. Then I want to say I'm going to see the price of Bitcoin. I'll hit enter. And again, it's going to take just a second to load. But now we have the live price for Bitcoin listed right here. Maybe I want to see something like Ethereum. I can type out ETH right here and hit enter. Again, we want to see this in USD. So I had USD after that. But now we have the live price for Ethereum. So again, crypto tracking becomes pretty easy with ticker data. Again, keep in mind, you can always reach out to us with questions, and we also have a Discord that you can access on our website where you can have your questions answered by other people who've already asked that same question. With all that being said, there are tons of future updates we have planned coming to Ticker Data very soon that I'm really excited about. Ticker Data is truly, in my opinion, one of the most powerful stock analysis tools out there and really opens up the world of what you're able to do inside of spreadsheets. And just like my personal portfolio, the quality of ticker data will continue to compound over time. So with all that being said, feel free to ask questions in the comments down below. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and check out ticker data. There is a seven day free trial at the link in the description. So with all that being said, again, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.